the question of the day that always gets asked is, why does our community not have just really nice things? And the sad realization um, that really comes to pass is, we're Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, sometimes our game doesn't get the perks of the other games, or, you know, even if something is given out throughout the community, whether or not it be privileged information or things like that, there's always just somebody there that will ruin the nice things that we have. You know, you can apply that to any life thing, um, whether or not it be something that you've heard or just something else, but someone always just has to be there to just rain on the parade, and it's it's just really sad to see these things get ruined. It's probably why we don't have nice things in Yu-Gi-Oh. Tis tis tisk. So first off, throughout the course of this video, over here, it should be over here actually, um, you're going to be taking a look at some cross promotions that other games have done to basically excite players to want to be involved with their card game. And it's really interesting to me because, you know, some of the things you're going to see over here, it's a little bit of a rundown. Uh, Vanguard had a Spider-Man uh, card. Duel Masters has had, oh man, Ace Attorney. Um, they've also had uh, Bass, or Bass, however you want to pronounce it, from Rockman.exe, or better known as Mega Man. Um, and there's been some other ones. Um, Battle Spirits is doing a Digimon uh, crossover. But Yu-Gi-Oh! has never really touched on this. Actually, come to think about it, the big three have never kind of really done this. You know, you've never seen... To my knowledge, I've never seen Magic the Gathering do a crossover um, with another card game. And... I've never seen Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Pokemon's done other things within the Nintendo genre. I mean, you had what? The Pokemon Mega Man? No, no. Pokemon um, Mario, it was. Um, that was actually really cool. But that's within the Nintendo universe, of course. So uh, that's a little bit more understandable. But when we come over here to Yu Gi Oh! Um, the the main franchise itself, I don't... I never tend to see the trading card game really branch out and include other things. Um, there's been little things, of course, with you know with it being owned by Shueisha or Shun Jump. Um, we've seen a little bit of Yugi and Goku and things, but they've never done a crossover with the trading card game. Um... Of course, I'm sure it's all all kinds of fun, fancy licensing issues that they would have to do with this. You know, perfect example of this. You know, Konami has the trading card game rights here in America. Of course, I believe Shueisha can do whatever they want here. Don't don't quote me on that. I know Konami has the ability to print cards, and so forth over here in America. But Funimation has Dragon Ball rights now. Say if they release, so say over in Japan, Shonen Jump says, hey, you know, like, we want to do something with Dragon Ball here. They're like, oh, okay, you know, since it's on their home turf and everything is there, you know, that's that. Um, and I'm not sure what the process would be to have to do something in America with that. I'm sure they'd have to go through Funimation, of course, even though, you know, Shonen has the rights there. It's interesting because uh, White Shores just got the ability to do a Star Wars set in Japan. But to get that over here in America, I'm sure it would be one hell of a licensing nightmare um, because you've got to go through all of the other things. I'm not quite sure how the whole international business law works um, with rights and things like that. Obviously, the Star Wars Wars rights um, here in America are done by essentially different companies. Um, I'm sure different companies have different rights to produce different things. It's pretty straightforward. But why has why has Yu-Gi-Oh and honestly Magic not really reached out? Are they just so far ahead of the game? Isn't Magic the Gathering owned by Hasbro, if I recall? Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure Rudy mentions it in every other one of his videos. 
uh, talking about those things. But why do... I, it has to be that they're just so far ahead that they would consider working with another company to not really be worth their time. Um, crossovers and things for Yu-Gi-Oh! Could be, could be a start of a good thing. Hell, even the Naruto trading card game had that uh, Goku crossover promo card. Granted, the game was essentially dead at that point when that promo came out in the video game. But that was that was still really cool to see that. But, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video today being like, Hey, well, why the fuck has Yu-Gi-Oh! never done nice things like this? Why are we... Why are we having apparent issues with other promotion things? Now, they did have that one promo card with, like, the little goopy goo on it, or the little figure on it. It said seven on it. I think it was, like, some promotional weird thing that they were doing um, with Tokyo TV or NAS or something over in Japan. But that... It's not to the full extent in which they could do things. You know, in America... We fucking re we've recycled the Kaiba and Yugi Dark Magician Blue Eyes for what, the last three years. You know, maybe it's time to reach out to these other popular brands that are doing good. You know, having a DBZ promo in something would do this game some good. You know, I don't know how you would do it or how you would market it, but you know, it just seems like that there could be the potential there. Um. Like I said, the licensing nightmares would probably just shoot that down before anything. I could only imagine how much they would have to pay um, t in fees and shit like that to even be able to produce something like that. But in terms of cross-platforming and advertising, it's, it's a venue that's definitely not been touched. So here's my question of the day. Um, do you think it would be a good idea for Konami, the Yu-Gi-Oh brand itself, to reach out and do something else, you know, DBZ, very pop. I, I use DBZ because Shueisha, and obviously Super is one of the most popular things in Japan at the moment, next to, you know, Monkey D. Luffy, you know, One Spice, uh, general things like that, you know, obviously Western marketing and Eastern marketing are two completely different beasts, but... Oh, you have the potential to do something. Now, I don't know if you make the card super good. Oh, let's be completely honest here. You know, if you release a Goku that's a level 4, no, how much attack points are you going to put on that thing, you know? Are you going to try to make it rival the Egyptian God cards? You know, are you going to make a Goku that has 4,500 attack points that can attack over Obelisk? Do the rules of the other universes <laughs> apply to go beyond what we have established here? Um, there's there's fun little nooks and crannies like that that would be challenging to release these things. You know, good example here while I'm holding up cards. Um, Goku's definitely stronger than Augusto Griffin, right? This thing has 800 attack points. He definitely have to be stronger than that. Um, but is Goku stronger than a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon coming in at 3,000? Or do you go the approach of giving the promo 100,000 attack points and just make it a match winner? Like, if you summon this card and, you know, it attacks your opponent directly, you know, you essentially win the match. Well, of course you would win the match if you're getting Kamehameha right in the fucking face. But... You, there's there's challenges and things that you'd have to kind of adapt with the scale that is Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's just, it's something that really hasn't been explored much in this game, and the game's been out for, what, nearly 15 years, and we're kind of just living in our own shell over here, so maybe it'd be a bad sign if we got a promotion, maybe it'd be an indicator that we need to reach out and get new kids into this game, and maybe we don't want to know that knowledge, maybe that'd be a bad idea. I don't want to know if Yugi's doing too bad by seeing some weird promotion like that. But, you know, I do want to see some fun ideas. This is... I don't want to make this like a creative card video. But just understand that this is this is really terrain that hasn't really been explored much by Konami. And I'm, I'm interested to know why. 
um, considering they are part of the Shonen Jump family, and essentially there's a lot that they could really kind of just bring in from that. Um, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, outside of that, yeah, just a fun little discussion to get today, guys. All right, I'm out. Peace, guys. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.